Here's an example of statistical process control using the Automotive Industry Action Group's data. Here you can see we have some part now called cubic release, whatever that might be, and there's a D-I-O-U-E-W length. And so all we have to do is select this data. And in the QI macros, your data can be horizontal or vertical. We click on the QI macros. We can choose the control chart wizard. It'll go ahead and draw our control chart. It'll give us our range. And the X chart. And calculate our process here, and you can see we have one control point that's actually above the uh, the upper control limit, so that might require some special cause analysis. But we're going to go on ahead. The upper spec is 10. It's actually 5 plus or minus 5, so it's 10 and 0. So again, we're going to take this data and we're going to say, give us a histogram. And our upper spec limit is 10. Our lower spec limit is 0. And this is D-I-O-U-E-W length. And this is the length, number, yeah, length. And this is the number of parts that have that. And so here you can see we have a CP of 1.49, CPK of 149, PP and PPK are 149. So we're above our 1.33, so we are in statistical process control. Now there's another way we could do this in the QI macros. We could choose the uh, X bar R5 pack, which is our fill in the blank templates for doing the same thing. And I'm going to just move or copy this sheet over to our AIAG sheet and stick it right about there, I think. So now we can take our data and select that and copy it and then literally just paste that into our fill in the blank template. Shrink that down a little bit. And up here you can see we can put in our spec limit of 10 and our lower spec of 0. But this will calculate the X bar R and give us a normal probability plot. You can't quite see that, but R squared is 0.94, which means we have normal data. And uh, here's a scatter plot of what the groups look like. So this will give us all of the information about this. And again, we could take these and, and run our uh, stability analysis on there so we could show that one red point. If we wanted to shrink that down and just show the points that are critical there. We can just say, I just want to show anything but not blanks. And it'll actually shrink that down and show us the whole plot. So there you go. It's pretty simple to do a full uh, stability and capability analysis using the QI macros and one of our control chart templates.